Hey guys, how's it going? You might notice that I'm not using a crutch, uh, but that doesn't mean that I'm still taking it very easily. In fact, uh, if I feel any kind of discomfort, I got a uh, crutch right, right underneath my uh, camera, so if I need it, I'm just gonna grab it. And uh, my camera is going out of whack, so let me fix that real quick before we get started with the uh, brand new vlog, I guess is what it is. I've been kind of keeping up with these vlogs as of late, so I hope you guys are enjoying them as much as possible. So, anywho, uh, this is probably going to be a second to last update about my foot. Uh, first of all, I've been, you know, I, I've been feeling like really good about it. Like, even though I'm not using a crutch right now, it's still very, very hard to keep. 100% um, pressure on my right foot at the moment and um, right now I have the brace off because it's just really it's really been bothering me it's like itching me it's making my heel it's it's making my entire foot go numb which I don't think it, it should be doing that uh, but it's you know it's been doing its job keeping the pressure you know um, helping my foot get you know really better so it's just been uh, it, it's been on for like over eight hours which was the set requirement for, uh, from the doctor so it's it's been through its eight hours for the day so I'll definitely have it on tomorrow when I go to the uh, to the therapy uh, to the physical therapy appointment and the doctor's appointment which they were scheduled to about nine in the morning for whatever reason because uh, the doctors or whatever are going home early for whatever reason, even though the set appointment was for originally for like two, I think, which would have been, would it would have been perfect for me because I usually don't get up until nine. So I'm going to have to wake up at seven. So I have my phone. Oh, right. I got my phone. <laughs> Jesus. I have my phone. Um, set to waking up at seven in the morning, which I'm not going to like at all, but you know what? I can deal with it. I'll probably get to the shower. Uh, I haven't taken a shower as of yet, so I'll probably hop into the shower, um, get myself clean since I feel good standing. I mean, I really do. I'm not, I'm not feeling a lot of discomfort and if, if I slip and fall, I'm probably not going to be able to get up. So I'm taking this as carefully as possible. And even though my, uh, my bathtub isn't the most slippery or whatever, they, uh, bath, bathtubs do get slippery. So I am a little bit nervous at the same time because I have a very weak right foot at the moment. It's still, you know, it's, it still hurts to just put weight on it, to put like, a lot of pressure. I definitely, definitely, definitely cannot put all of my weight on this foot. And the reason why I'm able to, you know, walk around or move move around like this is because I'm putting very little, very little weight on it as I can. So even though it's not a lot and I, there's, you know, points in which I can't move too much or it might slip from me again. It, it, I might end up hurting myself again and uh, might end up making it worse. So, you know, just whatever. I'm, at the end of the day, if, if I have to, I'll, I really don't know what I'll end up doing. I'll probably just end up um, doing like a little bath or whatever or have the water deep enough to where I can just wash myself as quickly uh, quickly as possible um, and be done with it basically so yeah that's that's pretty much the foot update um, so that pretty much means that my Friday plans will be changing I will not Unfortunately, I will not be streaming tomorrow morning. I will most likely be streaming 
uh, tomorrow afternoon as soon as I get done um, with the doctor's appointment. So I have the physical therapy appointment and I have the doctor's appointment and all these are just follow-up. So what I'm assuming is that they're going to clear me and uh, if slash when they do, I'll be Basically, I'll be back to work on Monday, hopefully. Hopefully, I won't have to stay here for much longer. And if I do, then there's a chance that I'm not going to get my car. As much as I would love to go grab my car, I'm not going to risk myself um, to go get my car. I would actually much rather just leave it where it's at or even have somebody else go get it and then bring it to me. I, I still have the keys, shit, but they'll need my ID to get my stuff. Actually, I'm pretty sure they need my ID in general to get my car, so I don't know. It just really depends at the moment, so I might end up uh, having my mom take me over or, or having my, both of my parents take me over to get my car and my things, and... Um, dragging or uh, somebody driving my car on literally the way back and do whatever I, I have no fucking idea but I'm definitely 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 not going to risk myself driving and honestly I would not risk myself driving unless I felt like I can drive and be safe at driving I definitely would not drive crazy as I usually do I would have to drive at 50% of my speed, or at least to the point where I am comfortable. So, definitely no speeding for me. Um, no rage, uh, roid rage, or fuck all, whatever else I, I end up doing. But other than that, that's pretty much um, what I have to do. So, you know, at the end of the day, just really depends. I know I'm going to get paid uh, for workers comp. Uh, yeah, basically workers comp uh, compensation. How the fuck you spell it? Uh, my laptop's going to stay right here our, um, on my table or on my desk or actually it's in table or whatever. So that'll just stay here while I'm at the doctor's appointment and hopefully when I when, when I when slash if I get my car back today and even if I don't, which Again, I, I was really pissed off whenever I said, I'm going to get it back Friday. So there's a little bit of doubt in that now. I'm probably not going to get it back Friday. And at this point, I'm fully willingly able to accept the fact that I may not get it on Friday. But I will definitely pay, pay to get it released on Friday. Um, they have secured it for me so I can make that payment. And if... <clears throat> you know, something else happens, I can totally blame them because I have a recording of them, um, of the agreement that we made, that I would pay half last week and then half this week. So we made an agreement. We made a total agreement, and I will say, we made an agreement if they, if they take my fucking car away from me. And I'll definitely say, no, 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 no. You're getting my car back because I just paid that $350 or I'm about to. So when I pay that, I'm getting that car back. We made an agreement and I'm in, and you guys have a recording. Guess what? I have a recording too of that very same agreement. So we can either discuss this with the police And then we can discuss them that you guys lied to me at the same time. You lied to me twice now, or well, if they end up lying to me, which I doubt. I'm, I'm pretty sure they want to just end up saying, we need to sell this car right now so this guy doesn't have a car anymore. And then he has to, you know, pay it however much he needs to pay or whatever. I don't know if you know, repo companies are like that. I very much doubt it. So if they do end up 
taking that car away from me, I'm definitely going to sue. I'm definitely going to find a lawyer and I'm definitely going to sue because I want my car back. And we made an agreement. They lied to me about that agreement. So, or at least they lied to me the first time. It's, I'm, I'm pretty worried actually if they're going to lie to me this time. So we'll, we'll see. We'll definitely see. They'll be literally the first people I call as soon as I get done with that doctor's, doctor's appointment. So, anywho, that's all I have to say about the car. Other than that, uh, like I said, I will not be streaming in the morning. I will most likely be streaming in the afternoon, uh, in the evening, or pro most likely in the afternoon hours into the evening hours. And if if, if I'm feeling okay, if I'm feeling like I can stand up, I can walk around, then um, we'll, I'll most likely play VR chat again. And then this time I'll be up and about. And uh, I'll have to get on my way or get to the store and then have the Uber guy, you know, hold, hold on like a little bit while I grab grab some batteries for my controllers, which I think they're almost dead. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk um, hoping that I'll get my car on Friday. So, yeah, just really depends. On, on the other side, in the event in which I'm not able to um, uh, either get my car back or even go to work like at all next week, like say maybe Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday or whatever, then um, definitely going to have to just hold it out, basically. I'll most likely definitely be able to get my car back come next week. Uh, so even if I don't get it back tomorrow, I'll definitely, definitely get it back next week and at least I'll have time to get it back and not worry about being late to work and even if I am I will just call um, call the people uh, the uh, people I'm working with and then the tra uh, truck staffing company to let them know hey I'm gonna be late I've already let them know so I thought uh, so I'm letting you guys know as well <clears throat> I don't think they uh, I know they keep saying that that I should tell, you know, them beforehand, but I feel like I'm trying to get hired on to these guys, so I'm pretty much letting them know, like, literally first, even though I'm still te technically a temp driver. So, hopefully I get hired on full-time, even though this accident may, may have just caused, like, a little bit of a, well... This guy, this guy's a hard worker, but he literally just injured himself, so he might be a liability, even though I've been working non-stop for the past, since September, basically. So September, October, November, December, January, we're going on five, <coughs> almost six months now. Yeah, we're going on five months. Next month will be six months, so, you know. Literally been working for half a year or almost half a year with these guys and it's it's been really fun I, I really I've been really enjoying um, Working with these guys. So hopefully um, I Can continue working for them and I'm going to try to get some days off specifically around Memorial Day um, And I'll most likely just have to work my butt off for the next couple of months so I can, um, ugh, Jesus, oh, that did not feel good. I'm just gonna grab this for now and leave that under me. But um, probably gonna have to work my butt off the entire month of May up to Memorial Day. And I know there's gonna be a lot of people requesting uh, that weekend off as well. Or at least Thursday and Friday, which is what I'm going to be requesting. So I'll most likely make that request come April-ish. I haven't bought MomoCon tickets yet. 
So next month is when I'm planning on buying tickets, or at least I'm going to be talking to Dragonmire, uh, my good old buddy Dragonmire, to see if uh, if him and slash or his buddy is still planning on buying tickets since I haven't bought my tickets yet. Um, anywho, I haven't bought my tickets yet. I wasn't really planning until I can, you know, be sure that I can take off um, Thursday and Friday before Memorial Day weekend and then have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Momocon, basically. And spending those days at, at Momocon. I will most likely dress up in all of my characters on those days. So you will definitely see the original one, Death Eater, maybe Thursday, and then you'll you'll see either me as my smoke character or me as another character on Friday, maybe. I'll probably bring two characters. I'll be in my new Death Eater outfit with the brand new mask and a kitty toe coat on Saturday. And I'll most likely dress up as Kitty Toe um, on Saturday as well. And then Sunday, I will most likely just be myself. Since uh, Thursday and Sunday are probably the two shortest days. Since Sunday or Thursday doesn't start until noonish, I think. And then Sunday doesn't end until around 5 p.m. ish. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of things going on. I know I'm going to be very, very sore by Monday, but hey, that's why we got Monday off as well. It's so I can just sit back and relax. And I know for sure that if I do end up going the entire weekend, I will not be streaming, period, the entire four days. But I will be streaming that Monday. So, you know, you have that to look forward for. Um, I thought about either streaming or doing a video uh, at the event. And if I do, um, it'll most likely be with Dragonmire if he ends up going. So it just really depends. I'm not entirely sure just yet. And I might do it right here on YouTube. And if not YouTube, then I definitely will on Twitch. So, you know, keep on the lookout for that on Twitch. And uh, I think that's pretty much all that I have to say. So I'm going to go ahead and go to bed before um, I, I keep myself up for for much longer. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this little, whatever you want to call it here, this, this vlog, I guess, is what it's being called. I am enjoying making these vlogs for you guys, so you know, I hope that's a little, a little, um, well, I hope that's good for you guys that, that I'm enjoying making these vlogs, even though it's just me talking about things that are going on and things that have happened, which brings me to another point. I know I've said something about death story time, or I may have said something about it, but, uh, for those that are wondering... I don't think I'm going to be doing death story time anytime soon. Maybe not until June is when I'll most likely do an official uh, death story time <coughs> thing to celebrate 10 years being on YouTube. So, and that would most likely be just a um, either a, a very long video of me telling my whole story on what I was doing before YouTube and in my early years of YouTube leading up to today. So, or at least to that point in time. So, anywho, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this sort of stuff, leave me a like and a comment down below. And uh, hopefully we'll have a lot more content coming in the near future. I know I keep saying that, but... Um, at the moment, it's kind of like on delay because of my ankle and also because I just really haven't been feeling the need of making anything other than the Death Theater Reborn stuff. So I really hope you guys have been enjoying that as well. 
Uh, I know a lot of people have been leaving comments below uh, telling me how much you, you guys have supported me. And I really do appreciate those comments. Those comments make me smile every time I see them. So if I, if I leave a like or a heart or something, just know that I really appreciate the comment. Anywho, if you're new to the channel, leave a subscribe, hit the notifications bell uh, for more content and whatever. And as always, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. So yeah, there's that. Oh, Anthem came out today. Uh, the 14th as of recording this so I completely forgot about that so I will most likely stream that tomorrow um, and I'll definitely stream it this weekend like I kind of promised so yeah there's that thank you guys so much for watching and as always I will see you guys next time bye bye